Hi everyone, I'm Sudakshana. I've put together an incredibly helpful tool for those embarking on an exciting journey of wedding planning. So let's dive right into it. I'll be sharing my screen to show you exactly how the planner works and we'll also talk briefly about each category so that you get a better overview. Here's the main dashboard of the Ultimate Wedding Planner. It consists of 16 different categories and one extra category for you to customize. Here is the home page. Feel free to customize it according to your needs. I have given instructions for all of these categories down below. Here you can change the couple's photo, the save the date feature and a little quote as well. On the left, I've added quick links for you to browse through. In the bottom, we have the wedding checklist and the events that are going to take place, which I'll explain in detail later. And a whole calendar, which includes the date wise to do list and also the event calendar as well. On the left hand side, you can write down all the events according to the dates and keep them organized. Let's go through all the category menus. First off, we're starting with the wedding checklist. This is nothing but a glorified to-do list for your wedding. I've given a few prompts here already for you to get started with. For example, you can just add what your task is, if it's a pre, post or during the wedding schedule, the status, the priority, the date when it has to be completed and the categories it's linked to. All these links link to the categories on the left hand side. For example, um, transportation arrangement is linked to the transport. So I'm just going to do that right now. Yeah, there you go. We also have a board view where you can see pre post and during the wedding activities and tasks that you have to complete. Moving on, we have wedding events. Here I've included five events which are primarily from an Indian culture. Feel free to change them according to your customs and traditions. I've also included a schedule list here for a detailed overview of that particular day. Here's the vendors category where you include vendor details and then the guest list where you include the guest details. Everything is very self-explanatory and I have instructions down below too. The venue details, the cost, prices and the availability can be jotted down here. People prefer e-invitations. You would also want to give video invitations and printed invitations. So you can jot them down here and you can also have details to be included already prepared to send to a person who's making the invitations for you. I have another category for the wedding expenses where you can budget everything, every expense that you have. Here's a quick expense note in case you don't have time to note down everything, you can just quickly write them down here. This is my favorite category. It's called the wedding journal where you can write small moments and stories throughout your wedding journey. I've also added a gallery view for the sake of it. And here's the table view where you can see the text or uh, whatever you want to write. Treat it as a journal that you want to write every day or depending on like special moments. And you can write who it's written by, which is to be shared by the groom and the bride and the date it's written and also link photos and videos from your Google photos if wanted. Here's a small disclaimer. Please note that the wedding planner has traditions and events that are primarily from an Indian culture, which is basically my ethnic background. I'm aware that there are different customs and cultures that celebrate differently. So feel free to add and modify according to the traditions. Additionally, the term bride and groom are used. This is just done for the simplicity of the template design. Feel free to modify these to align with your preferred gender identities. A wedding contact list and a transport list for your guests and your family for them to be accountable and updated. This category is the honeymoon planner, which has a detailed view of all the travel activities that you're going to be doing, which you can plan way ahead of the wedding. 
there's a checklist packing list quick to do's an itinerary i've already included some prompts for you to get started with then we have the inspiration board where you can write down all your inspirations your pinterest ideas any websites and blogs that you visited and you have an idea from there feel free to throw all of them in here this is the photos and videos category where you can write specific photos and shots that you want to click the ideas you have for videos instagram reels tiktok videos etc i know like people like having this planned way in advance so that the videos come out perfect and you don't miss out on anything so there's a schedule here for photography and videography we also have a nice wedding menu planner as well it's quite neat and simple you can just write the dish the category it belongs to and the event it corresponds with so as you know all these categories are all interlinked you can interlink them or prefer not to link them keep it minimal or make it as extensive as you want it to be there are a few categories like the gifts music for guests and customized that i've left out if at all you purchase the wedding planner you will definitely understand what's included and it's all very self explanatory so that's a wrap on my digital wedding planner whether you're in the midst of planning a wedding or just love organizing events and such i'm sure this will be incredibly helpful for you and if you aren't planning for a wedding yet it might just come in handy thank you so much for watching if you're interested the link is in the description below there is also a free version that you can grab right now and happy planning see you later